You stop, breathe. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Stop stressing so much, girl. I don't even think you'd hear that. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your general weekly reading this week. Now, Taurus, I also do your weekly love reading between you and your person, your you versus them reading. I guess I should more so say, Taurus, which I'll leave a link to as well over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Taurus, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Taurus. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Taurus. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, I'd love for you to tell me in the comments below which cards do, Taurus, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And then finally, Taurus, I'd appreciate it for you to take the time to give this video a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this video and you find some cards that resonate with you because it does help out my channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me and finally Taurus before we get into this reading um I just want to say this reading's here just to give you some food for thought some perspective for you to consider I'm not here to make a decision in your life because ultimately it's your life to live not mine so now let's get into this reading Taurus for you I pulled some general cards uh just so we can get a general idea of the energy for this week and you guys Taurus actually got my favorite card you guys got the fool right beautiful artwork uh this card with the fool as like your general energy taurus this is truly like a beautiful sign um i'm getting like this sense of needing to just like let go taurus kind of just you know regardless of what aspect of your life it is especially when i see it with the ten of pentacles um i kind of suspect this whatever has been like your main focal point taurus so what is it that this is where you would ask yourself taurus like what is it that you need to adopt the full energy for you know maybe if it's in regards to a person and speaking your feelings maybe you need to adopt that full energy and kind of just have a more optimistic view of the results of what could happen right because i feel like that's a lot of people's issues is like they're afraid of going after their ten of pentacles or they're afraid of really trying to grow what it is that they've already have or to really go out there out of their comfort zone um just because they're so scared of the result they're so scared of it being a failure and so people would rather just not do anything than to uh uh actually put some effort into it and then uh see if they like kind of have to like that's the thing to us i feel like for a lot of people that kind of avoid being the fool they want or owning that full energy they're trying to avoid owning that full energy because they're afraid of looking like a fool and i feel i mean me personally taurus i feel like you can only look like a fool if you choose not to uh go after something that you feel passionately about because the fool is based off of passion funnily enough uh, Taurus, I always say the fool only looks like a fool to the outside world because they don't know what's going on in the fool's head. They don't know what's going on with the fool's intuition. We have the High Priestess card coming in here. So this confirms to me, Taurus, that pretty much this is like, you're probably receiving this part of this reading, Taurus, and you're just like, ah, I know, I know, I know. You're probably hearing this message and just be like, ah, I'm being called out right now. Uh, yes, you are, right? When I see this High Priestess card coming in for you, Taurus, this is like, you have, you're in touch with your intuition. If you're not, then I guess that would be what it is that you need to take some time to heal, right? The Balsamic Moon, a time for healing, right? I feel I feel like, you know, Doris, if we're getting, you know, maybe I'm going to be speaking a little bit out of line here, a little bit out of pocket, but I'm getting like this sense of whatever it is that's keeping you back from owning that full energy is what it is that you need to heal. So this would usually, I guess what I would mean by this, Doris, it would be like a, um, if you're afraid of like failure, right? For example, we use that. Let's look at why you even have this in your thought process to begin with, right? Why can't you feel more confident about the result of something panning out in your way, whether it's with a social connection or whether it's with like your work situation, right? Figure out what it is that's gave you this sense of lesser appreciation for yourself. But um, let's get into these energies now, Taurus. I'm going to be doing, I already have some cards pulled out already now for uh, a row for your my Tauruses that are inter interested in their career and finances. Then we'll do a row for my Tauruses social situations. And then afterwards, we'll just do some, do some general messages. Um, so let's see, which card do we want to start with? Um, 
All right, Taurus, I pulled three cards. We'll pull some clarifiers after the fact, of course. But um, let's get into this. For my Taurus's career and finances, we have the Queen of Cups coming in, the King of Swords coming in, as well as the Five of Wands coming in. So this is where it's kind of interesting to me, Taurus, because this is definitely, you know, when we look at this Queen of Cups, right, this Queen of Cups is an individual that's tending to themselves, that's kind of putting more focus on themselves and what it is that they want to accomplish, what it is that makes them feel good, right? So it's kind of like that energy of, um, you know, either putting some money into your savings, for example, or starting to like, maybe you're just even look, looking on, at jobs on like Indeed or something, Taurus, um, where you're just like, uh, it would be nice if I could work over here instead, right? Um, King of Swords comes in of where I'm, I'm kind of connecting to an energy for Tauruses that um, they're like fed up. That's something that I'm getting is like they're fed up and they've been biting their tongue for a long time now in their workplace where they've been really kind of biding their time even with just how things have been going but there, there's this level where you're kind of ready to get out this level of where it's just like Taurus for some of you guys it gets I get the sense of just like we'll call it like an escape plan but maybe that's a little bit too drastic for some of my Tauruses it's more so trying to come up with a backup plan or like a plan behind the scenes that like you aren't like having as like your main focus but it's kind of like maybe just even going on in your head you know maybe it's just like a little bit of planning you have no intentions on leaving your job tours but if it gets to that like you already have like these other opportunities lined up that you've considered right because there's five of wands here now this is where i this is why it gets a little interesting here because it's like i feel like you're fed up ready to like get out um, make your escape plan secretly this king of swords because of this five of wands this five of wands is that uh this i always say it is the conflict card taurus where it's like something's just going on i don't know if it's related to your queen of cups or this is just like i just feel like there's just this level taurus of where it has like you it's like your ears are like perked, perked up and you're looking you're taking extra uh, caution looking around because it's like something you sense something all right so let's get some more clarifiers of what's going on here all right so i'm going to reference that ten of cups from our ten of pentacles from before taurus right because um i feel like it's kind of relevant for this aspect of the reading right now because of the fact that for your five of wands we have the two of wands here so this is truly letting me know taurus like whatever's going on here whatever this conflict is the representation of whether that conflict is just like um even not making enough money it's just something that's causing you to consider like other plans right it's not like i'm just getting the sense for my tauruses there's something that's not satisfactory right that's not quite filling up all your cups right now and so you're looking to take more action as the queen of cups with the clarifier of the nine of pentacles um to be more self-sufficient right taurus because the nine of pentacles is the card of self-sufficiency don't mind me taurus <laughs> I'm, I'm like running out of breath i'm realizing from talking but it's just because like my nose is a little bit congested i guess it's allergies but i'm like realizing i'm like suffocating while i'm giving this reading <laughs> but um i'm sorry for that side tangent but yeah taurus i really do feel like you're just actively taking more steps towards being a little bit more self-sufficient so you can have more of that peace of mind now with this king of swords the six of cups this comes in as the clarifier so this lets me know like whatever it is that you're currently doing you've been probably doing it for a while now right you know i made that remark from before taurus where it's i just got the sense that you've been biting your tongue at the workplace or you just really you've been keeping your emotions to yourself you've been keeping your thoughts to yourself you haven't really let it be known like how much this five of wands this conflict is bothering you taurus so i really just see this as like with the dynamic of that six of cups taurus i just get this sense of um a person who maybe even has like issues like fully transitioning on just because this, there's some history here right or maybe there's like this sense of um mm, 
yeah, I kind of just get that sense of where it's just like, you pro there's this sense of like, you've been biting your tongue, whether it's like at a sense of obligation, Taurus or something. It's like, you're handling the situation differently than how you would handle other situations because it feels like a unique thing. Seven of Wands comes in. So this is that card of persistence and that um, standing in your conviction, right? Really, this is a push in terms of your career and finances this week, Taurus, to really honor what's going on in here, right? I'm not going to neglect that Queen of Cups from before, um, where it's just like, I feel like you taking pro the proper steps to um, honor your path, honor the cups that you have going on for you, that's going to be the right way to get to that Ten of Pentacles. Taurus. So interesting. We're gonna close that off now, Taurus. And now we're going to get into we're going to get into your social situations now, Taurus. See what's up with that. What's the tea going on there? Alright. These cards are already being a little bit unruly. Alright. So, Taurus, we got your cards out. So let's look at this. We have the Three of Wands coming out for you, the Queen of Swords coming out for you. Makes sense. And then we have the Ten of Wands coming in for you, Taurus. So, very interesting pairing, honey. Um, this is almost like with the Three of Wands, like, <laughs> doesn't it look so dramatic, Taurus, in this card? It looks like it's kind of like a, show a showdown. I don't know why I was seeing this so weird for a moment. A showdown going on here. And I feel like that kind of essentially is what's going on here. There does seem to be... <sighs> Oddly enough, and it's not going to be for everybody, all my Tauruses, but I do feel like this is kind of connected. Like I'm getting, it's kind of like reminiscent of like some of the conflict energy that we had, that conflicted energy that we had with your career, Taurus. Um, but I almost just, I'm getting with like with this sense of where it's just like, almost like a confrontation with somebody of where it's just like kind of putting your foot down and being like, hey, addressing whatever it is that's been bothering you, addressing whatever it is that's been weighing you down, right? With this Ten of Wands energy. The Queen of Swords is someone that's like makes their feelings known, that finally like vocalizes it. Whereas the King of Swords is usually someone who, powerful in their own right, empowered rather, in their own right, but, um, usually just like they keep it to themselves whereas the queen of swords is a little bit more action oriented and i just see you taking action towards addressing the ten of wands all right so clarifiers honey <laughs> um pretty well not call well we won't call it heavy stuff because i still see this as a positive for you taurus but you're definitely going through some transitions um let's see so for your three of wands clarifier taurus we have the eight of cups coming in here so whatever this showdown is taurus you're kind of like it seems like a good opportunity or maybe nothing even necessarily happened but you're just ready to go to bigger and better waters All right here's the theme here taurus right coincidentally enough this three of wands here you see the water here i see we're not gonna consider you this monster person right um <laughs> not saying you're the person's a monster honey but or consider you this being you being this person being like hey i've had enough this whatever is like you know this ten of wands has been created in my life you're done being weighed down you're ready to set those boundaries right and you're willing to walk away if it, if it leads to that, which I kind of get the sense that it is, where you're walking away and really standing in that conviction, right? Remember that Seven of Wands from before in your career, and that's why I get the sense of where it's like kind of connected for some of you Taurus is oddly enough. Um, the Ten of Wands we have with the Clarifier, the Hermit card. So this is really like an energy where you really don't want to put too much energy into other things anymore. You really don't want to um, surround yourself with outside energy. You kind of just want to be by yourself after this um, transitional period uh, happens, Taurus. And I definitely see, I say the word transition because of this clarifier. With your Queen of Swords, we have the Death card coming in here, Taurus. So definitely with those boundaries being set, with you finally taking a little bit more action rather than keeping it inside, uh, Taurus, the, the death card comes in, which is really just the uh, meaning of the, like transitions, right? So it does let me know um, on the bright side, Taurus, you're addressing this Ten of Wands here, right? So take pleasure in that. So it doesn't mean it's like, enough, like just because it's the death card, Taurus, I don't want you to see this as like an ending of like the connection, right? It could just be like the ending of that phase of 
the experience when like the dynamic of the friendship relationship and all that was just in that way does that make sense where you're starting anew with it he's no longer dealing with that ten of wands closing off this energy we have the nine of wands test of strength and perseverance comes in again for you Taurus. so really this is just a week of per um persevering as cheesy as it sounds and self-explanatory right but also it's the sense of just truly just making it through making it through to the other side Taurus. um really listening to your intuition right and continue being that fool like this is really the energy that you want to exude this week Taurus. truly um but let's just get into just count, uh, general messages now for you Taurus, before we close out this reading entirely so we have the Six of Cups coming in here, again, following you. So this is, again, still addressing some type of situation that has, uh, we won't say like a hold on you because that sounds super controlling, doesn't it, Taurus? We'll say something that you just have history with, something that you've had in your life for a while now that you can't just simply walk away from, right? We all have those people, those situations in our lives that's just like, it's not just easy as like washing your hands clean of it, right? There's always a little bit more. We have the Six of Swords coming in for you. I can't help but feel like you guys should just look at the number six for numerology Taurus as well. Six of Swords, this is just dealing with the person and the empress card coming in so even if we're going to break this down before even clarifiers taurus this is literally kind of like addressing the same energy that we've been talking about taurus where it's just like something that you have history with may not be like it used to probably cave was a service to you at one point um maybe it still is right because we have that eight of cups from before where you walk away but your cups are filled so it doesn't necessarily seem like a situation that from the outside view seemed unpromising right and the empress card comes in with that growth so really <laughs> this all seems to be so shaped for, uh, around a social message and coming to realize that um the situation in your life the social situations in your life are here to like whatever's going on this week socially Taurus. it's definitely like a lesson for you to pay attention to so like it like i say with any type of lesson you don't take um it personally when you're given a math test right because the test is there to show you what it is that or to test you on what it is that you do know and what it is that you don't know right it's nothing personal and so i feel i see this in that same dynamic of where it's just like this person here not from their probably or their own awareness right but this person here is here to um teach you something whether this probably is like boundaries right with the queen of swords coming in as a closing thing boundaries um learning how to rely on yourself and not you know breaking out that codependency energy of feeling like you need this other person or needing the situation and you're just getting better perspective on everything and really um letting things just flow as they need to as the empress is um the, you, the empress is really like connected to and like goes with the flow of the universe and truly just is um just in this place of just growth and betterment of the self and i feel like uh that's really what this week is about for you is really just building a lot of beautiful character for you Taurus. so uh that's the reading that i have for you Taurus. if you enjoyed this reading i would love for you to give this video a like and subscribe and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my videos until next time Taurus. i love you so much bye